Good day, gents. Do you believe it is five after nine? This bank still isn't open. See, this around within around. So thank you for joining me on this. I'll have a coke and a smile around. They're having a pep rally in there trying to motivate their employees. These are grown men and women. You don't motivate them. You reward them with money. Come on, cut the nonsense. This is common sense. Uh, I learned this from Aesop Fable in, 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 in primary school. You know what I'm saying? If you want to properly motivate someone, you put a carrot on a stick and then let them chase it. Now, if you get sense, uh, using common sense, you would give the, the person the carrot, say, six times out of ten. They'll always be properly motivated. But you will motivate me, but my efforts don't produce any reward, but you get reward of my effort. And I can talk, because I know this is a bank. I won't call their name. I used to work for a lifetime ago. I didn't even know that all the effort you were being made, bonuses were paid to the bank to be shared with the employees. And it was kept by huh, upper echelon of, of the managers, the people who were in charge of that, that branch of the bank. That, that said, fire me. So what I did was I saw working hard. Y'all ain't going to gonna profit off my sweat. That's why I appreciate the gangster move Prince made with Warner Brothers. I'm not making any more music. You're not making no money off me. I'd rather not make money for you to make money. Make off me. You're not making money off me. This is simple. That's, and I remember my grandmother told me that. Boy, don't go to school and get to college and get so smart you forget your common sense. This is common sense. This is common sense. You mean to tell me the people in this bank don't know that to motivate people, you have to give them something tangible, not a speech. This is why I despise motivational speaking and I despise this leadership nonsense that's being peddled. This is just talk, it's fluff. Give people nuts and bolts so they can work with. But your motivational speech is not put money in my pocket. So I'm not going to work hard for you. It's common sense. Anyway, common sense isn't common. I know I understand what my grandmother meant. Anyway, this round is about, about honor. Now, like I said, by now you probably figured I was born in 72. And growing up in the late 80s, there was a ton of cheesy movies. I guess, um, I, call, I call it now at the time, I, I call now, right now, I call them propaganda movies. But, mostly war movies. But the, the gist of almost all those war movies was that the soldiers would rather die than to dishonor themselves. And, and one of the, I think it was Death Before Dishonor, I think it was a karate movie. That did it for me, like, that was my mindset. Death Before Dishonor, I will never disgrace myself. Uh, being a fan of the Japanese, I love how the Japanese would rather kill themselves than to disgrace themselves. They rather die with their honor at their own hands. But that affect me, that's how I live my life. You're gonna have to kill me first before you dishonor me. Before I dishonor myself. You're gonna have to kill me. Now, gentlemen, you may not take that fatalistic um, approach, but I do, that's what works for me. Um, uh, my teacher sowed the seeds for that when she said that every night, you would to look the man in the mirror dead square in his eyes and command his respect. So I was primed for that. Death before dishonor. Gentlemen, do not disgrace yourself. Do not dishonor yourself. Uh, there seems to be an evil spirit right now in this age that is telling men, in particular young men, is okay to dishonor themselves and disrespect their bodies for, for gain. Gentlemen, there's no amount of money in this world that could be printed. Not, not, even, not even for a mountain of gold, I'll dishonor my body. Disrespect myself. For materialism. You understand me? This shirt I'm wearing, I mean, I paid $30 for it at the time back in 2000. See, this still looks the same. In 2000, I got this shirt 18 years ago. 
Uh, you think I'm going to dishonor myself so I can wear a name brand? Uh, the job I had, I saw at a Christmas party, I had security at a high-end um, um, community. Uh, at the Christmas party, you, oh, it was so disheartening to see all the young men that disrespect themselves and their bodies just so they could wear name brand clothes. And some of the gentlemen even had at least $10,000 worth of clothes. And I say, oh, they'll have to kill me first. I'll blow my own brains out before I dis dis dishonor myself and disrespect myself for clothes, name brand clothes. And you still have to wash it, you still have to iron it. I don't need name brand on my back. I go right in Walmart and shop and still come out looking spiffy. Because just as clothes make the man, the man makes the clothes. Excuse me, uh, the universal law of as above, so below, as within, so without. Just how they need the name brand to make them feel special. I guess that's what it is. Me, I wear one my clothes and look name brand. And I told you in another roundabout, I went to Conway, bought clothes that were, that didn't meet the standard of, of the, 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 the fashion house. Well, I didn't know it at the time, I went there. Got these clothes, get a huge discount, throw some some buttons on it, bang. Because I respect myself, because I have honor, because I would die before I dishonor myself. When I put on my clothes, I was within, so it out. My clothes look just as good as your name brand clothes you're wearing. The ten thousand dollars worth of name brand clothes you're wearing. Because you have to disrespect yourself to get it. Gentlemen, you don't come in this world with nothing, but leave you me. You're not leaving with anything. So don't you disrespect yourself and dishonor yourself for material things. No amount of money is worth your dignity, self-respect, pride, and honor. All right, gentlemen. And besides, these fashion houses, who these guys are disrespecting themselves for, most of them don't even want certain people wearing their stuff. So you think I can disgrace myself, dishonor myself, violate myself, and insult God for that? No, sir. No, sir. In the Empress Club, there's only a club for men of honor. That's how you live your life, gentlemen, as a man of honor. Goodbye. Let me we'll see if this bank open, man. They're wasting my time. And anyway, I promise not to go off this year. So, uh, so I said, let me come in here and, and, and do my final run. It may not be because God knows what they can do in here. It'll probably tick me off. But I make a, po a point from 2003 till now. It's been 15 years. I'm still trying every year to not lose my patience. Anyway, gentlemen, catch you on the flip side.